Stage four water level restrictions on Salt Spring Island doesn't necessarily affect our farm here because we're on a well, but we're still running low on water. We have a pond here that I've hooked up a pump to. Inch and a half poly line with some uh, very simple 90 degree poly fittings post clamps and then here are our two storage tanks it's only a thousand liters combined so it looks like a lot but i think it lasts about a full week of garden watering so the way we have this rig here is this valve is open and the water is basically being pumped down from the pond runs into these two tanks. Now we also have the system here where when it rains, if it when it rains, I can fill these tanks from the gutters. And there's a shutoff valve for that. When it rains, I have this two inch pipe coming down there, filter stream, an overflow. I can just shut off the valve that goes up to the pond and then naturally let the water come down this pipe here, splits off, runs into each tank. And uh, that works pretty well. And these tanks are just freestanding in the shade here as much as possible. And then the main connections here, we just tied the two tanks together with some PVC valves, some flex hose. So they run continuously together. And then this line here with a the shutoff, these are called dielectric unions, just in PVC. They connect onto that other pump so they can Plug that in directly to 110, power it up, open up these valves, open up this valve here, supplies the pump, connect on to this line here, which leads all the way down to the garden, and we're watering the vegetables. A bit of a rigmarole, but it does work, and uh, not too costly to install or maintain. So hopefully that'll get us through this drought season.